All right, what is going on y'all? It's your boy Twan, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I went about making this emotional palette style sample. So yeah, you guys already know what it is. Now let's get to the video. So first I opened up Contact and I went in this Cinematic Keys library and Contact's a pretty good library. And I picked this Wurlitzer 200A with filter uh, preset and uh, this is what it sounds like without any effects. And uh, to that I added a couple of effects. I added a EQ just to cut the lows out, a reverb plate 140 from Arturia with the EMT preset. I just turned down the blend knob a tiny bit. And then finally, a filter M12 with the default preset that I'm pretty sure I didn't mess around with too much. And uh, this is what it sounds like now with the effects. So yeah, pretty much not too complicated. Uh, then next I went into Omnisphere and I picked this key shift preset and I drew this pattern right here. So yeah, as you can see, it's heavily delayed. There was already a lot of effects on the initial preset, so I didn't add any effects to it. Um, and then next I went into contact again. I picked this Maliflux ARP 1609 preset and uh, I pretty much just laid these notes right here. So yeah, it kind of sounds bad like right now, but then I added an EQ to cut the lows out and also some of these frequencies right here and a half time with the half loop. And um, yeah, now it sounds much better. Listen. So yeah, this was uh, very effective to add a sense of like rhythm to the sample a little bit. Uh, and then next I went into contact. I went in this orchestral essentials library in contact and picked this box organ preset. And I pretty much copied the notes that I had from Omnisphere in here. And um, yeah, this is what it sounds like. So yeah, still doesn't sound too amazing, but I added an EQ to cut the lows out and also some of these frequencies right here. And then a reverb intensity from Artoria with the infinity preset. And uh, this is what it sounds like now. So yeah, sounds much better. And then finally, I went into contact and I picked this Balkan Ethnic Orchestra preset, I mean library, and I picked the uh, Duduk, is that Duduk? I don't know, tenor uh, preset, uh, which is like kind of like a, it's a, it's a Duduk, a Duduk, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I pitched it up 12 semitones uh, in the contact uh, thing. And I uh, played these notes right here. So yeah, without effects, I added a, tiny, a couple of effects. I added an EQ just to cut this really harsh frequency right here. And then I added a Valhalla Vintage Verb with the mix down and uh, yeah, not doing too, too much. And now it sounds much better. I'll let you guys hear. Oh yeah, and the reason why I pitched it up uh, in contact was because I wanted it to be pitched up, but as you can see right here, it only goes up to these notes. Uh, it doesn't cover the whole like sixth uh, octave. So um, yeah, I had to pitch it up in contact. 
So that's the whole sample. Then I bounced it out and uh, boom, 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 did my thing, you know, bounced it out, uh, like rearranged it like that, bounced it out. And then uh, I went right here and I decreased the sample rate to about 22K Hertz and then routed it to its mixer track and added some final effects to it. So this is the, the final sample without uh, any effects. So yeah, very simple. Then I added these effects. I added a good hertz wow control uh, with the wobbly 7.5 IPS uh, preset. Then I added a Wolf compressor also from uh, good hertz uh, where I turned down just the dry to about 23%. Next, I added this DAW LP, um, it's, like a, it's like a vinyl um, effect uh, from Clevgrand uh, with these settings right here. And then finally added an EQ uh, with, um, to cut out the low end and also this frequency right here that was quite harsh from the Duduk. Um, so this is what it sounds like now with the effects. So yeah, the effects really isn't doing too much. It's just detuning it a little bit, but really wanted to keep it simple. You know, the, the, the patterns and the melodies are already fire, so didn't want to go too crazy with the melody. So now let's get on with the drums. So for the drums, I added a standard clap. Then I added the hi-hats. Simple two-step. Layered it with a snare. Then I added the 808s. Open half. And then the kicks. So yeah guys, that's how I would go about making an emotional palace type sample. If you did enjoy this video and this sample, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, let me know what you guys wanna see in the next videos. And yeah, that's it from me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.